Welcome to Secrets Out Idaho. Each week, we let you in on the secrets of Southern Idaho and speak to the people who make it such a unique hidden gem. I'm your host, Connie Stouffer. I'm here today with Sonia Haynes with the United Way of South Central Idaho. She's going to share with us the 12 cool things to give. Welcome, Sonia. Thank you. Hi, Connie. How are you? Great. Thanks for being here today. Oh, thank Uh, you so much. Of course. What are you going to share with us? Well, the 12 cool things to give has really taught us that there are some gaps in our communities with giving. And there's just a lot of uh, people are always asking, like, what other things that I can give? What is really needed in our community? One thing that we have found in every single organization that we serve as well from food pantries to schools to the homeless shelters, uh, boys and girls clubs, so on and so forth is books. Books Mm -hmm. Books are something that nationally, I I can't even imagine that one in three uh, families do not have books. Mm -hmm. And we have just really, it it breaks my heart. I mean, you know, I grew up a very, very um, challenged childhood and we always had books. Mm -hmm. And so I can't even imagine being without books or maybe they don't live near a library. I mean, that's the other thing is we live in a really rural community and not all the rural communities have libraries. Mm -hmm. Uh, The food pantries, all the food pantries now are finding the benefit to seniors to be able to have some books for them, those romance novels, you know, they get every time, but, but share, you know, after you go and, and it's a gift. I mean, a book is a gift. So, you know, write a message in it and donate it to your local pantry or, you know, write a message in it to a child and donate them to your school or Mm -hmm. sponsor a classroom. You know, when you go those scholastic book, um, Mm -hmm. book thing, there's some on there that are a dollar. Say, you know what, I'm going to buy every single kid in the classroom a book and they get to take home because a lot of times, you know, I'm a, I, I am a single mom. I don't know always get to get a book for my child yeah and it bothers me I'm like oh but then when I do have money I'm like you know what we're gonna sponsor everyone in the classroom we're gonna buy them all a dollar book and they all love it because then everybody got a book Mm -hmm. so it's just kind of one of those things that I think is an easy way for our community to rally Barnes and Noble has been a great partner to Mm us Um, they have a a cliff bar has been wonderful one year they raised over 800 books we have a lot of seniors learning how to be police officers how to be nurses (laughs) but you know what they donated their book and that's what we asked them to do. And it's been great. Um, mm-hmm. Really been able to give back to the community. A lot of teenagers that really, I mean, look at how much a book is for you and me, Tim. It's an investment. Yeah. And so you're really investing in the children of our community. And I always consider myself to be an adult you know, I mean, a grown up child. And as an, I am an adult, um, but I'm a grown up child too. And so I'm always learning and I'm always wanting to like, what's the next book out there that I can read on self-help or just being able to escape. I think mm-hmm. a book is, you, is the best gift you can give. Well, and I've seen book drives before and you and I had talked about this months and months ago. And my thought was like, oh, like books for kids, like kids need books, they're learning to read. Um, and th- they definitely need books too. But you let me know that like also a Books for adult readers, too, like um, people who are in the, you know, domestic violence shelter who are sitting there and need something to take their mind off their, you know, what's going on in their lives or the homeless shelters or just adults who want to read, you know, and learn more and and experience more um, need books, too. And so people probably have books on their shelves that they have read that they're never going to read again, um, that were good and someone could get um, use out of those. um, And it's a good way to give back. And also, if you can go and purchase new books um, at Barnes and Noble or wherever, you know, through your local school, it's a great way too. Yes. And, and, and you, it's just so important to our community that we are really in promoting literacy. It's a huge request of the parents. We've done some surveys with parents and the parents are like, please, please, please. Can you help us with literacy? Can you mm-hmm. help us with books? Uh, we are starting a, um, a book little vending machine mm-hmm. in Jerome and they'll be able to just reach in oh. and do a book exchange. Um, we're really trying to find different creative ways to be able to provide books to the community where people are, you know, they don't want to admit that they can't afford a book, but they really want one for their child or for themselves. Yeah. Like I love to read to just be able to just be somebody else for the day. You yeah. Know? I'm like, oh, I'm going to sit here and read for a couple of minutes <laughs> and, and go somewhere else. But a book is a really, really good investment that you can give um, to a community that's needed all year round. Mm-hmm. Uh, in April, we, the United way does do a book drive. Mm-hmm. So if you start now and can throughout the month of April and you want to be able to give, uh, we, we do accept donations. We could come and do a pickup. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's a, a workplace campaign, please do a book drive. It's great what comes out. It's amazing how many people have. A lot of kids were, you know, they do, are able to invest in their, their child's uh, reading mm-hmm. and then they were able to donate those to other kids. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Sonia. Is there any other things people should know about giving books out in their community? I, I think 
think that's it. The only other thing I was going to mention was like some magazines. You oh, know, magazines you, too. Yeah. yeah, magazines. If you have um, some really good ones, like Time Magazine, I never National get Geographic. Time, National Geographic ones that are just really staples in the reading mm-hmm. content world. Then I would say donate those. Donate mm-hmm. them to your school. They also use them in different projects. So mm-hmm. it's just another great opportunity. Boys and Girls Club loves those type of, of um, donations. Awesome. Thank you so much for the suggestions. Uh, you can find out more about the 12 cool things to give at United Way SCID org or on our website at southernidaho.org slash lifestyle. Thanks, Sonia. Thank you so much. Of course.